Two prominent Macon lawyers, Franklin and Laura Hogue, are representing Gregory McMichael in the Ahmaud Aubrey case. They say their client did not commit murder, and they say this was not a racially motivated incident. 41 NBC's Tanya Motorzitski is outside the Hogue law firm, where a news conference took place this morning. Franklin and Laura Hogue say their client, 64-year-old Gregory McMichael, did not kill 25-year-old Ahmad Aubrey back in February while he was jogging. They say there's a lot more evidence and videos and pictures that point to a different narrative. Franklin and Laura Hogue of Hogue Hogue Fitzgerald and Griffin and Macon say the case of 25-year-old Ahmad Aubrey, who was killed while jogging in Brunswick back in February, is an all too familiar scene. This is not some sort of hate crime fueled by racism. It is and remains the case, however, that a young African-American man has lost his life to violence. That is tragic. His family grieves. The people's teeth are on edge. But the hoax say their client, 64-year-old Gregory McMichael, didn't kill Aubrey. Greg McMichael did not commit murder. Greg McMichael is not a party to the crime of murder. Laura Hoag says she knows what we all know and have seen the video we seen of the incident showing the confrontation between the McMichaels and Aubrey, but adds there's more videos and pictures that show a different story. There are more than one way that the internet is communicating what happened. There's issues with timing on videos that are on the internet. There's issues with date stamps and time stamps. So the video may not be the only video that becomes important in this case. The Hoag say they believe they have enough evidence to request a bond hearing for Gregory McMichael. In Macon, Tanya Motorzitski, 41 NBC News. Alrighty, thank you, Tanya. Well, the Hoag say they are working with the courts to request a preliminary hearing.